Okay, let's take a look at this example on inventory terms and Little's Law. Assume Dale's yearly inventory cost is 40% to account for the cost of capital for financing the inventory, the warehouse space, and the cost of obsolescence. In other words, Dale incurs a cost of $40 for a $100 component that is in the company's inventory for one entire year. One year, Dell's 10K report showed that the company had $400 million in inventory and cost of goods sold of $26,442 million. And we would like to calculate Dell's inventory turn and then find what percentage of cost of a Dell computer reflects inventory cost. In the end, find the uh, per unit inventory cost in dollar amount for a Dell computer that costs $400. First, let's take a look at inventory turns. Inventory turns is also called inventory turnover or inventory turnover ratio. And from operations management, there is a pretty famous formula for us to calculate inventory turns. And the formula looks like this. Annual inventory turns is equal to annual cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. Of course, if we want monthly inventory turn, then it's going to be equal to monthly cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. But let's take a deeper look at the formula for calculating inventory trends based on Little's Law. Little's Law looks like this. I is equal to R times T. I is the average inventory. In most cases, average inventory will be in dollar amount. R is what we call the flow rate. In this case, it is the annual cost of goods sold. Essentially, that is the rate or speed at which the inventory flows out of the system. In this case, the system is the Dell computer. And based on Little's law, the flow time T is equal to I average inventory divided by flow rate R. And in this case, the flow time T is actually the average time that inventory stays with the Dell computer in number of years. And once we understand the Little's Law, it becomes a lot easier to understand why we have the formula to calculate annual inventory returns to begin with. Essentially, annual inventory returns is equal to 1 over t, or 1 divided by flow time in years. To understand this, let's say on average inventory stays with the company for one entire year. What does it mean? It means that their computer turns over inventory only once a year. For another example, let's say uh, on average inventory stays with the company for half a year or six months. Then Dell computer is able to turn the inventory over twice a year and so on and so forth. So it's not a surprise we see this formula for calculating annual inventory turn which is equal to 1 over flow time t. Next, let's look at what percentage of cost of a Dell computer reflects inventory cost. And based on this example, we know that the yearly inventory cost is 40%. That is assuming that inventory stays with Dell for one entire year. What if the inventory does not stay with Dell for the entire year? How long will it be? Well, it's nothing but our flow time t. That's the average length 
inventory stays with the company. So the actual percentage inventory cost is going to be equal to 40% times flow time T. Or equivalently, the actual percentage inventory cost will be equal to 40% divided by inventory turns because inventory turns is equal to 1 divided by T. And once we know the percentage inventory cost and the value of a product based on cost of goods sold, we can easily compute the unit inventory cost in dollar amount. And next, let's turn to Excel and compute those numbers as our answer to this example. According to the information provided by this example, we have the following. First, I, the average inventory in dollar amount is $400 million. R, the flow rate or cost of goods sold in this case is equal to $26,442 million. Yearly percentage inventory cost is 40% or 0.4. And next, let's compute the flow time T. According to Little's law, flow time T is equal to inventory I divided by the flow rate R. You want to make sure the units are the same. In our case, it's in million dollars. And we see that the flow time in this case is about 0 0.015 years. That means on average inventory stays with Dell for about 0 0.015 years. This is not a uh, very convenient number, but we can easily convert that into the number of months or the number of weeks. And it's going to be 0 0.182 months or equivalently 0 0.787 weeks. That is to say, on average, inventory stays with Dell for less than a week. Now we're ready to answer the uh, three questions of this example. First of all, Let's look at annual inventory trends. And we're going to use both approaches we talked about to find annual inventory trends. First, let's use our formula. It's equal to cost of goods sold, which is nothing but our flow rate, divided by inventory. It's equal to 66 and change. That is to say, Dell turns over inventories more than 66 times a year. Alternatively, we can use the other formula. Annual inventory turns is equal to 1 divided by T, and just make sure we want to use T in number of years. So it's going to be equal to 1 divided by 0 0.015, and let's see. Not a surprise we are getting the exact the same inventory turns. Alright, what if we would like to find monthly inventory turns? How are we going to find it? That is very easy to do. Dell turns over inventory 66 times a year. That means it turns over inventory 5.5 times a month. A simple division will give us the answer. What about weekly inventory turns? Well, very, very similar. Annually, it's 66 times, but one year has 52 weeks. So every week, Dell turns its inventory over 1.27 times. Next, Let's look at question 2, percentage unit inventory cost. And we know that yearly percentage inventory cost is 
but inventory doesn't stay with Dell for the entire year. Instead, it stays with Dell for only 0 0.015 years. So we get that the actual percentage unit inventory cost is less than 1%, 0 0.6% to be exact. Or we can use the other formula to find it. It's going to be equal to 40% divided by annual inventory returns. And let me make it clearer. Annual inventory returns. Okay. One way or another, we get the same answer. Lastly, we are ready to calculate the per unit inventory cost in dollar amount. Well, that's very straightforward. The value of the product is $400. Percentage unit inventory cost is 0.6%. The product of the two will give us the per unit inventory cost in dollars, which turns out to be $2 per unit 